Welcome to evening prayer on this Friday evening here at St. John's. This week I've been sharing some experiences from my week of vacation last week. And I mentioned yesterday that we completed our vacation in the Twin Cities and we visited the area that's now known as the George Floyd Memorial, the intersection of 38th and Chicago in Minneapolis. It was an experience of walking on holy ground, to be sure, as I mentioned yesterday. But one other thing I saw there that I wanted to share with you, and it was a banner, probably three by five, hand painted beautifully. On one side of the banner was an image of Mr. Floyd and next to that image were printed the words of Psalm 13 in a beautiful script. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because the Lord has dealt bountifully with me. At the end of the day, we offer our thanks and our praise to God for all that we have been given, for the gift of the day itself. But we also, in our prayer, pray honestly. And that's what this lament helps us do. As the sin of racism is so very close to us and before our eyes every day. We join the psalmist in crying out how long. And as we cry out, we pray that God will strengthen us to confront this sin and to be filled with faith to work for justice and for healing. Honesty is also part of our evening prayer. It needs to be. I invite you now into prayer. O oh God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthen dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. And receive this beautiful Celtic blessing. Now may the Spirit of God who brooded over the waters and brought order out of chaos find a home in your hearts and settle your minds as you sleep so that tomorrow you may wake and you may live to God's glory. Amen. Thank you for praying with me tonight. Rest well.